have you done in your back? And I always make an example. Okay, say you're a teacher. Well, you don't have sales experience. Well, that's not true. You have to sell your class every single day on the topics you're teaching, right? So it's simple things like that, but it's, hey, how do you develop a story? And the one thing I do want to stay on here for everyone to know, I say this to everybody who calls me. The whole job of a medical device sales interview is to tell you why you suck and why you're not good enough to get the job. And they want to see how you're going to handle it. And most people just kind of like put their tail between their legs and like, I'm not good enough. And it's not, it's got to be like, no, totally. Like every time, hey, Jacob, you're a personal trainer. You don't have sales experience. We don't think you'd be a good fit. Hey, totally understand that you feel that way. But here's why I feel like that's a strength. No, definitely. I it, it's, it's one of those things where whenever you're having that conversation and they're using those negatives toward you, just like you said, they're testing to see how you're going to respond in that situation. And so many people fail. Like yep. so many people, they, they think that this is like a regular conversation that you're having. Yes, it's an interview, but in their mind, they're like, they're taking what that person's telling them to heart. Like, dude, you, you really blew this interview. Like, what do you have to say about that? And then it's either just like you said, you tuck tail and you're like, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me or you fucking fight and you yeah. see how you can take it to the next level because that's what they want to see. They want to see if you can actually like get over that adversity of them thinking that you're not good enough. Because just like you said, like when I was trying to get into this industry, oh, it was endless. Like, like, dude, you're not ready for this. You're not ready to put this many hours into something, et cetera, et cetera. And that was my, like the mindset going in. And to me, that didn't scare me. It didn't push me away. It really made me want to get into something like this even more. 